All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I got a shop update here. I've been working my butt off out here today, trying to get stuff done. I uh, have uh, some cool stuff to show you here. The cut table, ta-da, is done, and I'm actually getting ready to use it. Yesterday, the uh, cyclone separator, oh, there's that bad boy. Uh, it's an Oneida Super Dust Deputy. It's a big bad boy. Five inch input, six inch suction. Uh, Nicely constructed. I'm pretty impressed. There's the view and then inside of it. Um, getting ready to put it to, together today. I think I'm going to try and rig it up to where I can just have it sit on top of a piece of MDF, uh, which will be sitting on top of this brute trash can, or one. I think they recommend putting it on an oil drum, but uh, I would rather use these as they have handles. I have lots of them, and uh, it's lightweight. Uh, I figure it'll be easier than hefting an oil drum full of sawdust into my truck. Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, again, out here in the shop working, uh, putting my cut table to good use. Here's the wonderful cut table. Uh, Ta-da! Here's my uh, Oneida Dust Deputy, or Super Dust Deputy, rather. Just uh, cutting out a plate here to put it on top of a, uh, I think it's a 44 gallon can. It's a Rubbermaid Brute. Uh, I guess it doesn't actually say how big it is. I think it's 44, 44 gallon. But uh, anyway, yeah, here's the view down there. I already cut the hole out, but uh, I'm just going to screw it on there, or rather uh, bolt it on there. And uh, I've got some insulation over here. It's um, sill insulation that goes between concrete blocks and a sill. And I'm hoping we'll uh, seal that all right. And uh, I'm just going to put this bad boy together here and uh, have my uh, have that as my dust collector. Alright YouTube, here's the Franken collector. <laughs> it's uh, an Oneida dust deputy, or super dust deputy. Mounted on top of a piece of MDF that I just put temporarily on top of this uh, trash can here. And I don't really need to seal it. Uh, you know, I thought to, I'd need uh, some insulation. Where did I put it? Oh, up here. But I didn't really need it. It just uh, sits on top of there, does what it's supposed to, doesn't leak, so I'm pretty impressed with that. I just planed a, a bunch of wood, and the bag, it's empty. Uh, so I think what I can do is uh, I'm just going to, once I get sort of a little more situated here, as you can see it's kind of a mess, I'm just going to move this to where it blows the straight out and eliminates the uh, static pressure from the bag. And I think that'll improve my suction, because it doesn't quite clear out all the planer chips from the planer, but I think with this setup it will, once I take the bag off. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm up to. This is the Franken collector here. It's uh, working good so far, and we slide it over here and you can actually see. There's the, whoops, it, yeah, it just kind of fell apart. <laughs> Everything was just kind of jammed in it, uh, but uh, there are the chips. and. Uh, it all seems to work okay, so I think I'm just going to build a little cart that I can put it on, uh, mount my dust collector on it, and uh, get it all put together here. 